Hey everybody, welcome in. Come on in. I'm so happy that you're here. If you're new here, thank you so much for giving me a chance. I really appreciate it. And if you feel like it, please subscribe. Uh, the button's just below and you get to become part of the Auntie Angel fam. If you've been here before, thanks so much for coming back. Your faith in me means so much. I can't even describe it. So for today's video, I thought we'd do something fun and do um, an eyeshadow palettes review. And I have to thank, before we begin, another ASM artist, Jeannie B. ASMR. That's J-E-A-N-N-I-E-B ASMR. I watched a video where she showed these and when she said how she wears them, that was it for me because she knows how to put on makeup and she's stunning and she's down to earth and really you gotta watch her, her channel. She's so much fun. And I really love these and I don't spend a lot on palettes. I love my Revolution palettes. Um, if you haven't seen it, I did do a previous video on my eyeshadow obsession, collection, obsession. And, okay, my computer's talking to me, I don't know why. So, I wanted to show you guys these two because they are Huda Beauty and they are pricier than I would normally spend. However, I've A, I had coupons, I had points, so it wasn't um, all cash. Second of all, I did have Huda products before, Huda Beauty, lipsticks mostly and blushes, and I love them, and they last forever. So I'm going to do that, uh, to show you these, and I'm not apologizing for spending some bucks on myself. So I have the Nude and the Empowered, and these colors are so stunning. Now, I did try to do this video earlier, and I opened it like this, and I went, oh, these colors are beautiful. My angels are gonna love them. And then I went, but it's a shame they don't say the colors. They do, I just couldn't see them. So, Auntie Angel got out her trusty dusty. <laughs> so I can show you guys the colors. Sorry, I'm trying to do this soft-spoken, but you know me, when I get going, I get excited. But let's do this, shall we? So here you go. Aren't they beautiful for the nude, a nude palette? And there's mattes, there's glitters, there's mixes, and I just love, you can tell I've just, I've already used this one. Um, so yeah, I remember I showed you guys that trick in the eyeshadow obsession video for cleaning a palette if it gets dirty. I did that to everything. I did it to my um, blushes, every, works great. Just get any kind of baby wipe or, um, I actually used my CPAC wipe, put it over the lid of a jar and run it across, clean as can be. It just, I couldn't get over how easy it was. Okay, so let's go through the colors together. And if you guys are okay with it, I'll tell you how I plan to use them, okay? Because I am wearing some right now and I'll show you which ones I'm wearing. So this one is bare. Uh, this one I would do more under my eyes eyebrows I mean and in the corner I usually like to do a white but you know, guys can see that I don't need to do that sorry because that's an off-white um, almost a cream I find it's better it doesn't jump out at you that I'm wearing white type of thing the next one is crave and that's this one with the gold and white flex and that one I would definitely um, that one and I'm skipping ahead to fantasy, which is this one. These two I would definitely use as a liner above my eyelash line. I really like to do that. Rather than a liquid liner, sometimes I prefer just putting a color there. Um, I'd probably even use them underneath depending what I was doing. The middle one that I didn't talk about was play, and I love that one because it is such a neutral color. It would be a great um, transition color especially if I'm transitioning into something more dramatic, like a half crease. The next two, ooh, they're getting into NARS area. <laughs> love Bite and Spanked. Ooh. Now those two I do love, and I would definitely use them for going out or a more dramatic look. Um, and those I would put here 
and here with a lighter color in the middle um, just to try to open my eyes up more. That's how I do it. But this one is called Lace. And this one I'm actually wearing today as my transition color. And I really like it. Um, it has a very soft color. Daydream and Tickle are next. So that's the Daydream. And again, I would do it the same way I would do those three. I really, I like getting that sparkle and a little bit of light color, a little bit of dark. It really helps. And Tickle is very pretty. I would definitely use that as a transition color, um, especially for an evening, not a um, date night or party, but just going over dinner. I would wear that for sure. Now the next two are gorgeous. Excite, Infatuated, and Kinky. Woo, those are the next three. So look at the sparkle in these. Like I'm trying to hit the light so you guys can see it. It's, I just love that color. And for me, being a redhead, it's hard for me to find a nude palette that I can get away with. I usually will buy a palette and end up using the same five colors and the others just never get used. I can actually see myself using all of these colors at some point. And then the last one, oh, it is kinky, okay. And then this one is concealed. And as you can tell, I've already used it. And I just use that in the center to try to open my eyes a bit. And then this one is secret. And I could see myself wearing that all the time. The next two are Tease and Raw. Just trying to read the next two as well. Okay. Teased and Raw. Again, totally for a night out or as an eyeliner color or lash co line color. Love both of them. This one, the next two are Charmed and Teddy. The Charmed, again, I would use it the same as I would everything else. And the Teddy is definitely a neutral. I could see myself wearing a lot, okay? So that's this palette, the nude palette, and I love it. And what I love about it is anybody can wear these colors. They may become poppers, where mine is a transition. If you if you have a darker complexion, what I wear as a transition may be a pop of color, the lighter color for you. Um, the dark colors would look great on anybody. I really am pleased with this. I'm pleased with how it went on um, in my makeup bag, in my purse. I did it downstairs, so there's no foundation. There's just what I had in my bag and this. And the brush that I have in my makeup bag in my purse isn't one of my better ones. I should probably do that. but So I was impressed with how it went on even with um, one of my lesser brushes. Okay, now, dun, 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 dun. Let's look at the Empowered. These colors are so dramatic, so beautiful, and yet you can still wear daytime. Ready? Now I can't flip this one, so I'm sorry about the mirror. I'll try to hold them so you don't see the mirror. Look at the gorgeousness of these colors. They are definitely a darker look, definitely a smoky eye, but they're beautiful. They're absolutely beautiful. And I don't know if you guys are really getting the glitter that's coming up in the in some of these. I just adore them. Um, two in particular have already become my favorite. The Visionary and the Manifest It, which is these two. They are just so pretty. So let me go through and tell you what the colors are. So this one, the first one is Purpose. Completely a liner one or for a dark, smoky look. Love it, absolutely love it. I would even use that in my brows if I was in a pinch. The next two are Courageous and Limitless. I just, I can't get over the sparkle. It's just, I love metallic, I love sparkle, and these are just doing it. I would definitely wear this as a transition. I would wear this as a highlight on my brow bones. I think that would look incredible. The next three are Confident, Charisma, and Keep Going. The Confident for sure, because to wear that, you know you're doing it right. And there's so many guys, YouTube videos 
on how to put on like I would definitely be using this as a cut crease or a half cut crease I love those looks I have to turn the video on to remember how to do them but I do them and you know what it's eyeshadow guys if it doesn't work out or the color's not right for you you just take a makeup pad some eyeshadow remover and you're done it's easy peasy have fun with it that's my biggest thing experiment have fun with it express yourself in color <laughs> and the keep going definitely a really nice transition color for going out in the evenings oh anybody who doesn't know what a transition color is when i was growing up we called it main color or your whole lid color that was back in the day when maybelline blue was the only you know big color but a transition color, what I do, because I have hooded eyes, I take it almost to the brow bone, like that. And that's like what I'm going to, my base, what I'm going to be putting other colors over. The highlight I put under my brow bone and here. And then if I say a pop of color, I usually put them here, halfway up, and here, halfway up. And then I put a lighter shade of whatever that shade is in the center just a little bit all the way up so that for me my eyes open up more okay so big dreams manifest it and bold moves oh, oh, oh. I love them I just love them and honestly I think anybody could wear these and oh, oh another um great youtuber you can watch for makeup techniques is Johnny Ross I also love his funny ones where he does what it's like to work at Mac and Sephora, but his makeup tips and he finds dupes really good. I have got to get across to the States one day um, to go to Trader Joe's because apparently, and it's not in all the time, so when it's in, grab it if you're near one. They have a dupe for the bum bum cream. I think they call it Brazil cream or something. And he says you get this massive tub of it it smells exactly like it. It works exactly like it for like five bucks. Even with the exchange for me, I that's fine. Okay, so the next three are do it, power, and get it. And that's it. We need to do it. We need our power and we get it. <laughs> but look at those. And those three together, I would wear in a heartbeat. I just love the, the look of them together. Okay. And down here we have worthy, rebel, and winner. And we are all worthy, we know that. And again, I'd use this very much like I would this one, okay? Or for a smoky eye. I'm not really good at doing a smoky eye. I'm gonna try to do it one day. In fact, I think what I'm gonna do someday is set up my computer and my phone so you guys can watch me try to do a smoky eye. We'll see what happens. Then we're up to my favorite, favorite, Visionary, Best Self, and Legacy. Look at Visionary. I love colors that are mixed like this because you get such um, a variety when you put it on your eyes and you really can get your eyes to pop. And I think that would be a great lid color, absolutely. And these two just, they look so pretty together. You know, and don't be afraid to use any of your eyeshadows as your eyeliners. Um, and you don't always need um, one of those angled brushes. I remember I once told you I went for a makeup lesson last year. And one of the things she told me is that sometimes when you put with an angle brush, the line can go on too harsh. So what I use, is it this one? No, it's not, it's this one. What I use is this brush. So it's not angled and it does have a point, but the point isn't um, overly sharp. So when I put the line on, it's almost blending it as I put it on. Whereas personally, when I put on with an angle brush, it is a very stark line. And then I usually will have to go in with a second dry brush and just buff it out. So if you can, I recommend using a smaller brush to do that rather than an angled. Okay, so that's it. And their packaging I love. Um, the other thing I love about them is I have little drawers that I keep all my makeup in. And while I love my Revolution, my Revolution is longer and it doesn't fit in my drawers. The Huda Beauty fits right in. 
um, same as the Natasha Demona, I think it is, it fits in. But these ones, I say worth it. Um, maybe not both at once, but I highly recommend Huda Beauty. And I'm not being paid or sponsored um, because you guys know I will tell you if there's one I don't like, Anastasia. But it's up to you guys what you purchase. I also love dupes. I love Revolution. I love L'Oreal. I love Revlon. I love CoverGirl. Let's find a color you like. Um, find a, mi a medium that you like. I know um, some people prefer cream eyeshadows. And I have to tell you, I love the look of a cream eyeshadow. But unfortunately, as people advance in age, I get creases. And while I love the cream eyeshadows, they settle in my creases. And it just doesn't look um, the way I would like it to look. But you younger ones, go for it. And please take care of your skin now. <laughs> I wish I could go back and do, do things differently. Um, but yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And as always, I love you, I value you, I honor you, and I'm so very glad that you were born.